Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Do not forget, leave me a comment down below. I always love to hear from you guys and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I am away right now, but as soon as I get back, I will be catching up on every single comment. In this video, I wanted to try something other than Jesmonite. Now, every time I do a Jesmonite video, quite often people will ask me about plaster, they'll ask me about cement, and I really just don't use them enough. So I went onto Amazon and I ordered this. This is called Stone Cast Powder. I typed in white cement, and this is what came up. Now, it already says on there, this is a plaster. So I'm gonna be trying this. I have got some plaster of Paris, um, down below under my desk but I figured I'd try something brand new just to compare just to look at it see what what we can do with it and I really want to try the blood splatter technique now I've been seeing this everywhere mostly on jesmonite pages but I really wanted to see if there's a product out here such as white cement or plaster plaster of Paris that can give us a similar result without using jesmonite I hope that makes sense now, the next minute of the video really is a bit of a waste of time. I, I decided to try different items to pigment. So I've used the Jesmonite pigment, I've used some acrylic paint, and here I'm using some Hemway mica powder. I am a Hemway affiliate, if anyone does not know that. Um, I will leave the code down below for 35% off at Hemway mica powders and glitters. What I decided to do at this point was mix all of those together because there was no way I was going to allow the pink that I decided to just stick with the jesmonite pigment it is the best pigment for plaster for cement for jesmonite it is the best look at this red um I ended up mixing them all together in the same pot for this dramatic blood effect this is the most fun part you just go crazy go wild and the mess is real, so if you're not a fan of mess, this one is definitely not for you. I made so much, I ended up actually bringing in another two trinket trays and doing some more. And I still had leftovers. I ended up pouring them into small little tea light holder molds. So at this point, I'm thinking this allows me to go for lots of different colours just to kind of get an idea for what Halloween aesthetic I like. You know, I decided to go for some green in one of them and I'm already in love with this green. All of the colors you see in this video, I am using my Jesmonite pigments that I purchased a very long time ago, back at the beginning of this year. And I just made up the colors if I needed to, like orange is a made up of red and yellow. And look how different this is. I mean, it reminded me very much of the plaster of Paris I used last year, but it also reminded me a little bit of the Elechem Hydroflow, the way that orange came out. Now, I have to let you know here that on the packaging, it says if you add more powder, it will be stronger. If you add more water, it will be weaker. Adding more powder also thickens it up. So that orange, when you saw that orange go on, that is because I put way loads of powder in <laughs> and I decided to put less in for the black. So I am going for your stereotypical Halloween colours, the orange, the black, the purple, the green. And then on this one, I decided to use it neat, natural colour, no colours added, no pigments added, just to see the results. But here's the thing. I had a gut feeling I'd moved the trays and I felt like the red had moved inside and as soon as I demolded my suspicions were correct. Basically as soon as you break that seal between the red and the and the rest going in, excuse my nails, this is just jesmonite pigment that I've now got on my nails and my skin. But um yeah. I'm going to have a go at sanding these back just to see what they look like. I mean, they've worked, which is really cool. Um, but if you are trying this technique, do not move the trays like I did. I moved them from one desk to another desk to get them out of the way. Then I moved them back. Big mistake, big error. Look at all these holes. Look at all these chunks. I kind of like, like it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not going to lie. I do like rustic. Anything rustic, I love it. So I'm okay. My soul is okay with these holes. But I know that's not the look you guys will be going for. So yeah, that is my advice. If you're trying this technique, whatever you put down on your mold first, do not move the mold again until you fill it up. Because what happened was they lost contact with the silicon and then some of the rest seeped in underneath. It seeped in. And you can see it. You can see it all over these pieces. Um, but I'm loving... I'm loving the shine. This plaster, look at the shine. I don't know if it's... I don't know if you can see it, if the camera's really picking it up. But they are actually shiny, which excited me. Because we know that Jesmonite gives a matte finish... But this plaster of Paris definitely has a shine to it. Um, yeah, I'm loving it. And at this point, I already know that I'm in love with the green and the red. I'm not so fussed about the orange and the red aesthetic. Probably won't do that again. But this one. Oh, yes. This reminds me, you know, at Halloween when you can buy shower curtains, you can buy home decor pieces that are just splattered with the blood effect. I love it. I absolutely love it. So, yep. Yeah, here we are. This is the green and red up close. And I decided to take it away now into the bathroom and give them a sand. I've gone straight in with a 300 grit wet dry sandpaper. And this is the result. This is after sanding. The lines are way neater. This is the white and red before sanding. This is after sanding. So much neater. But these holes, look at these holes. I mean, goodness. It's such a shame, but again, this is human error. You won't get these holes as long as you don't move the trays. This was my own error. This was my mistake. This is after sanding again. I think, I think hand on heart, these sanded better and easier than anything I've used before. Um, so easy to sand and get those lines back. Let me know your favorite colors. Ignore the holes. This was just an experiment using a brand new um, product. Well, brand new to me, not brand new to the market. But if you cannot get hold of Jesmonite or if you fancy doing some funky, fun Halloween splatter techniques, then it's definitely a product I would recommend. Just don't move the trays like I did. When is there ever a clear video when something doesn't just go a little bit wrong. It's what I'm here for. I'm here. I'm here for it. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this one. It's a quickie, only eight, nine minutes long. So if you've stayed to the end, thank you so much. Let me know what your favorite colors are. Ignore all of the mistakes. We're talking about colors and designs. I have to say the white and the red is 100% my favorite. It definitely reminds me of more of the authentic Halloween decor that you get from, you know, party shops and things like that. I do feel like I need to invest in a shower curtain with the same pattern on this year. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I really appreciate all of your support and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.